Hello guys, this is your man Hub Man. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, The Hobby Man. And on this episode of Vintage Toy Monday, episode 18, we'll be talking about the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn figure. This is for the ages um, 15 and up. Um, I did a review on this figure quite some time ago. It won't be a review, but it will. what it will be is just an overall looking of the figure over again. But if you want to see me do a review, I will gladly do a review on the, on the figure again. But I think the overall review will be pretty good for y'all guys. So stay tuned and check out this figure on Vintage Toy Monday. Be right back. Guys, we're back on another episode of Vintage Toy Monday. Um, like I said, we'll be doing a review over around looking at the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn figure. Um, I bought this figure recently about four years ago. It was my very first SH Figure Arts figure. SH Figure Arts figures can go kind of pricely. Um, pricely, I, I don't know what the price range this figure is going for nowadays, but when I did bought this figure four years ago, I think it was going about what 56 57 I think between 56 57 dollars at the time, it might be more, I don't know. But I was so happy to get this um figure, um, uh, uh in, in my um, my collection at the time, and um, it still fairly looks uh, fairly um, new and it's a little that's just difference. Difference. Um, this, these sometimes a lot of people who don't know too much about SA figure arts figures, they are a much more different type of articulation to them, and they do a lot of things a little different than your standard um, type of um, action figure. And uh, people who do know about SA figure, SA figure arts figures, pretty much know what you you're looking for in these type of figures. But um, I can give you all all around. Um, um, Look at the figure because I still still do have uh, a lot of the um, I have well, all the accessories except for one accessory I don't have. And if you remember one of my videos that I did a long time ago that I did on the my custom bike that I did. If you did, I would like you can go and check out that video. It's still up where I took the SA figures um, Harley Quinn cards and put them to the bike. But there was really these real small cards and everything. That's the only thing I don't have still with this um, um, figure. But with the figure, when we come down to the accessories, so I'll show it to you real quickly. And um, I have to keep, I'm gonna have to keep the front piece on because I don't want to fall all over the place. You have what they call like face plates and everything that you can change and put different type of expressions on there, different type of hands on there, and everything. And then, and you do have the two die cast guns. Um, they are made out of die cast. I thought they was in here, but unfortunately, I don't know what I did with the guns. But um, I have to find them guns on another day. But I do have the guns, and they are made out of die cast. They would be in right there if you see where the little um, thing would been. I thought they was in here, guys. I'm sorry, but I do apologize by that. But I thought I had them in there. Let me see. Let me double check. Just making sure. No, they're not in there. And the guns do fit very well in her hand when she do hold them. Now here's the figure itself, right here. Now the, um, the ponytails are articulated. They can move back and forth, as you can see, right there. You can take this fun place plate off, face off, if you want to, and put a different suppression on there. Like I said, it's not really a, a overall review, but if you like to see that, you can. Um, you do have where the front uh, toe art are also art uh, articulated. And I'll show you that real quickly. What I mean about that. You can bend the toes up and down. You can see right there. I'll show you right there. See how that, see if we look real closely. Right around the, on the side right there is a, like a little um, toe joint right there. That toe can go up and down a little bit. And if you look again, it is down. Now, these right here are very pointy. They are sharp. The, um, these, this uh, knife does not move when she is molded in there. And these also molded in there. You can also um, change out the hands a little bit. This jacket is on a, 
<laughs> this jacket is, is like molded, sculpted on there and everything on the, on the jacket. The hands do um, have articulation in the hands. The hands can go all the way in. And like that, here's the back of it. As you can see, that she do. You can see what she says on the back of her jacket. Yeah, see, I can get that to focus in for y'all guys. I'm trying to. I don't know what it's focusing on. But on the back of the jacket, it does says um, "kiss this." And then if you notice, she do has a, um, a tattoo also on the back. She do have a nice little um, paint and wash also in the hair. Right there. So this has been my um, Vintage Toy Monday um, looking. So I hope you did enjoy episode 18. So don't to do the little things if you want to do them. And um, share if you want to share the video. That will help me out a whole lot. I would like to have that. And um, everybody have a good day. Good night. Enjoy your collection. And be safe out there. And I'll talk to y'all guys later in the next side of you with the Hollywood Man.